everyone welcome to my channel today I'm going to show you some project shares for the new chaos craft March release um, you can find these die sets at chaos craft Aliexpress or chaos craft Amazon I'll have all the links down in the description box below let's get started so first we have this spring tote bag and this tote bag comes with these flower, I guess these flower trellis, and um, it also comes with this daisy here. Oh, something came off. <laughs> and it also um, comes with this daisy tag and with this little loop on there. So I've layered it with some gold at the bottom and a, a glass dome and there's a bee inside this pendant and it makes it look like it's like magnified and um, this one is uh, from the chaos craft release from last year this vintage key tag shaker it's uh, really it comes in a small and a large and it's really cute and these poppies are also from the new March release and it has a template and it includes the middle part, the stamens here and it cuts out so many flowers. I was having so much fun and there's so much poppies that I could stick on a lot of my a lot of my projects so uh, it's really amazing this template poppies template and um yeah it, it just gives you a, a lot of supplies for you to work with um these poppies i was able to make lots like i i must have made like at least 27 27 poppies and i've layered some of them with gold foil here at the bottom and kind of like propped it up a little bit like this and this collection is uh, Maggie Holmes um, I th uh, parasol, yeah, Maggie Holmes parasol. And uh, it, it has this handle here as well, and it's really sturdy, very, very sturdy. They made it really sturdy. And this side here is so beautiful. You don't have to make it um, see-through with these holes. You can make it solid here at the 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 side here and the back looks like this the dimensions for this is approximately six inches by about five five point one eighths inch maybe and it holds quite a lot as you can see and very sturdy Oh, and the this part here is measuring about one and one and three quarter inches. Um, so uh, here are some more poppies, and these ones are acetate. Oh no, is it no? This is a vellum. Sorry, Th these are made out of vellum so many poppies it's just amazing i these are the leftovers that i haven't um, used yet so they could go on to some future products and i also put it on some more projects that are coming up i'll show you later and okay let's go on to the next um next projects that i made for Chaos Craft. They sent me these dies. Thank you so much, Chaos Craft. And uh, let's see. We have here inside this tote bag, we also have these beautiful, elegant, it's called Elegant Butterfly. And it's so pretty. I'm just like, I, I love it so much you, you could layer it and there, it comes with these border edges here too and what I did was I 
um, there's all these patterns it's so pretty and you could like prop some of them up and you can bend them because they have lines here as you can see you can further make it more propped up but um, I just propped up these parts here so um, and then I layered it with some glitter glue on these and it gives you so much dimension looks like this and I put some foam on the for the body of this butterfly so here's another one and this pink one so pretty and um, yeah I think it comes with two let's see or is it just one Oh, okay it's just one yeah one butterfly one size I've also embellished it with some of these gems okay let's see what else we have in here I'll just like next we have these jumbo butterfly clips Butterfly Jumbo Paper Clip Banners. It's so pretty. I've added these tassels here. It's just so amazing. Um, so for this one, uh, what I did was I, I just glued the top part here but um, there's many different ways you could do it you could also fold it and then glue it into here to make this shorter uh, and you could also make this into um, some a uh, flip kind of butterfly tag kind of thing uh, that I saw at um, Hannah's uh, channel if you want to go to KS Craft Hannah's channel you could see that she made it in a different way and also um, there's a shortcut way that I saw from um, Michelle's YouTube channel um, hers is paper dreams and things and um, yeah you could uh, there's a shortcut way where you could just use the die and fold your paper in half and, and you could just like um, like you could just um, cut it and cut it once and then um yeah the the whole thing is there you don't need to cut this uh die two times which i did so but it's so beautiful i just love this and all the layering and these leaves came from um previous i think it was um during it was like um last year's too um during valentine's day these vines heart they're called heart vines they're really great for embellishing and giving some extra extra uh, details in here and here's the poppy again and uh, yeah it's super pretty it's a butterfly banner and you can clip it onto like books like here's my embellishment book um, that I'm still working on I'm probably gonna start filling it in more but um, yeah you just clip it on like this look how pretty this is it's so awesome so uh, I made three this one is uh, Woodland Groves Maggie Holmes and then we have this this one parasol also Maggie Holmes super pretty this one says so pretty and then here we have Maggie Holmes garden party I just love her collection it's just all her paper collections I'm just like super loving all the colors and patterns and next up we have these butterfly they're called butterfly butterfly 
bows. These butterfly bows. They're super pretty too. I'm just, I love like everything I made. It's just, I had so much, um, I enjoyed making this. Um, these butterfly bows come in small and also a large. So here's, I did three large and three smalls. And these measure two inches. Wait, if it's from the bottom, it measures two and let's see, one, two, three, two and three eighths of an inch. And then here it's two inches, or if you measure the well, it depends on where you put the body, I guess. Two and one quarter inches, maybe. Yeah, it depends. And I've also layered this. And um, how I did this was I, I, I cut, cut this part two times and I cut the, where you see the stitches here, I, for the pattern, I cut out where the stitches are and so you could see the border of the holographic paper so that's what I did and I did the same thing for the bottom so that's how um, you how I made this butterfly blow it's so beautiful this is um, from parasol and I hanged a charm this one's woodland groves and it's so pretty with all these layers. You could kind of bend it a bit more so it gives it more dimension. Here's one from um, Market. I think this is called Market Square. Also from Maggie Holmes. Garden Party. This one. Paris. I think oh no this is market square as well and then this one I think it's parasol it's so pretty I love these gems and look at the details here um, they have hearts here it's so pretty just love these and you can also make them into um, like hair bows like for putting on a clip and using vinyl many different ways and it's so pretty I'm planning to put it into my embellishment book like I have a Maggie Holmes here so um I mean this garden party so then this theme matches with this book and I, I I've been like it's it's been a while um I have so many already in here it's just I still need to fill it up like I have like these and this is the library pocket book from last year is also from chaos craft so yeah I just need to like put them all together here's a boot and um, yeah so I'm just gonna put a background and put these beautiful bows in here so that's what's gonna happen with this embellishment book and um, okay let's go on and I, I didn't mention about the the size for this one so I'll, I'll just do it now it's about three and um one two three four five three and five eighths of an inch by about four inches and this paper clip is really jumbo. I've had this since like last year because there was another banner too. And so this one was, this one is about three and uh, three and three quarter of an inch in size for the paper clip. Okay, um, so um, yeah, this is just like so awesome. Uh, let's go on with this one here. This one is uh, called the, this one is called 3D Tote Shaker Add-on Metal Cutting Die. 
So uh, what you're looking at is just this part here. That's the shaker. And it's just adding on to this tote bag that was from last year. And it comes with um, these little shaker bits, if you can see. Um, maybe, um, okay, I hope like this is kind of staticky right now. Um, but yeah, you can see there's a zizzer and um, these uh, sewing bobbins and also a glue gun somewhere in here if I can like here's the glue gun glue gun it's so cool and it's like a it's kind of a crafts tool theme so I thought oh this is amazing I made this like last year I bought this from chaos craft um it's the I crock a Croco, croco I forgot what this is called. The crocodile tool that they're they're selling. I still believe it's still they're still selling these. And um, and this one is um, it's so cute. The sewing bobbin. And I made this so that you could slot things in with this bag. And I really loved how I like put some ribbon, wrapped some ribbon around this handle. And here's some more poppies that I was talking about. And this vine leaves, the heart vine leaves are so pretty. And the back looks like this. And you can slot some more stuff here if you like to decorate. And I think I showed on Instagram some other stuff inside here um, that is not part of this release. It was like from last year and some, some this tote. This craft tote bag was actually, I also bought from Chaos Craft a while back. And I believe I saw it still. And um, yeah, you could check it out. And it doesn't include these um, these stationary stuff. Um, I It's from my stash, these stationary. And also this glue gun, I also is from my stash. But I just thought it was so cute. Like everything goes with like these little shaker bits that are included with the shaker. And so, um, yeah, so it's just this part here. And then the bag is from last year's re last year's releases. So, um, yeah, it's so, so super cute. And then like also these ones came from like pre like last year's um, releases too, like early spring. And I just thought, oh, it's so cute to put it in here and give it as a gift too. And all these embellishments, it's so pretty. Um, I don't remember what these were called. Um, probably like clipboard or something. Um, but I'll I'll try to list the links to where these, uh, where you can get these, um, in the description box. Uh, let's get on. Um to the next project that I did and um, this one is the nail filer um, yeah oh I didn't measure this did I okay let, let's measure it but um, it holds a lot of stuff to this um, tote bag I really love this tote bag it's about five and um, almost five and a half inches and then the side is about I, I layered with like the shaker so it's like it's now like two and one quarter of an inch and then um, the height it depends on how where you want to put the handle so it's about mm, seven and one quarter of an inch yes so um, yeah okay let, let's go on now we have this nail I think this is called nail file um, let's see what it's called it's called nail file holder yes it's really easy to make and um, yeah it's uh, very pretty and um, I didn't decorate the back yet um, so yeah and I put a pence pen in here because I don't really um, do nail filing, but yeah. So you could put many different things in here. 
um, and it comes with this lace border and this bow and also this um, nail polish. I've added some resin piece here. It's like a cupid. And it also comes with this tag. It's super pretty and um, you could stamp some sentiment on to this background piece too. Um, yeah, it's very nice. And uh, yeah, we, you leave this open so that um, this pen can fit in there. Mm -hmm. And it's like, um, yeah, it just expands like, so yeah, I just glued the top here, right there. And it comes with these layering pieces too. What else is in here? We have um, this, oh yes, the flower came out. So um, there's a slot here where you could put things in. So you don't necessarily need to put like a flower. You could put like, or you can add more things in here. So like these words also came with the set. Hello friend and bloom also comes with the set. So I just made them into like, um, you know, one of those picks for the garden. So I put it in here with the pot. It's super cute. I added these faces. It's from my stash onto the pots and um, they're like selfie pots. And I always wanted selfie pots and never like I, one time I saw a selfie pot somewhere in a store and I didn't get it. And then afterwards, um, they, they sold out and then it's like, oh, OK, so now I made my own selfie pots here. I know it's not like the real thing, but I was just like, I enjoy looking at this and it's a super cute card. It's an A2, A2 size card and um, comes with this frame here and this little um, stitched background piece of it too. And I layered it with foam as you can see and they're like shakers. These pots are so cute. The sizing, the sizing of these pots are so cute. And I also made these flowers into shaker. You don't have to make it into a shaker the flowers, but I thought it was like cute. This whole card is so cute. And the um the pots are like about two inches and then and by two inches the pot and the flowers are like maybe also two inches so and the width is like close to two inches too super cute and this collection is maggie holmes garden party next up we have this kite i really love this kite and um this cloud came off um Yes, it's super cute. It's a shaker too. And I've added some shaker bits in here. And the ribbon, I tied it. I thought it was really nice that this lace border, the, the, the side has the holes that you could attach things onto here. It's really pretty. So um, some of the kites I've noticed like Back when I was younger, they had these tail side ends on the side of the kite. So I just added this on and then the bottom of the kite, you could also put the bows onto the bottom here, but I, I, I use these buttons, these flower buttons and it's so cute and it comes with these words look up and as well as this journey and I backed it up with foam again and this collection is Market Square Maggie Holmes and it, um, it has this pig and I added the wings on it it's so cute look at the wings and these wings come from the B set which is also from the new March release and um, I had some here it's buried from um, all the stuff that I was showing um, yeah, they kind of disappeared somewhere, but I'll show you. Um, it's going to be uh, coming soon, the bees. So, um, yeah. Oh, here they are. Here's some of the bees. This is just two of two styles. There's more styles coming up. 
and I decorated the wings with some puffy stickers. And this kite comes with this uh, butterfly, but this butterfly, I think it's like if your kite is not like a shaker or something, you can like stamp it onto your kite and then puff it up. I just like cut it out because, um, uh, yeah, I just like it coming because mine is like a shaker, so I just cut it out. Um, but, um, yeah, and here's our, some of the, more of the poppies. It's just like so amazing. You can make so many poppies and decorate it and it's so beautiful. Yeah. And, and, oh yes, I did this, um, key holder. You could attach it to your backpack or, you know, hang it somewhere. And it's supposed to be a mini album, but I made it into this like um, hanging kite. And this kite is about four inches by five and a half inches, not including this bottom part. Um, yeah. Super beautiful. Loving it. And inside this last one is these um part of the march release as well this new release is these uh spring shadow words for 2024 i believe it's called let's see yes 2024 spring shadow words enjoy spring butterfly welcome sunshine hello and you could like mix it up you could say enjoy sunshine enjoy spring welcome spring uh hello spring uh, so many different ways it's wonderful and the sizing of these words are really amazing um they're just the right size i i, I like it um see look how beautiful it looks and i put some holographic paper at the bottom and uh backed it up with some foam and look it's just so beautiful if you add it here you know anywhere and um yeah i added some gems and some butterfly resin pieces to um decorate it and uh you could also use ink and you know ink make some um make it more dimensional with some like ink at the edges of the, these words I'm I'm considering doing that. Um, we'll see, but um, yeah, I love it. Okay, next up we have this uh picnic basket box, and I I just love this project so much. Um, yes, this project comes with this tulip bows. I love this tulip bow. It's so special. Yeah, this tulip bow is so special. I just, it's just, I, I, I don't know, like the design of this tulip bow is so pretty. And um, the handles here, and this frame is from my stash, um, and it comes with these um, buttons for the handles. And I decorate it with tulips. And this collection is Maggie Holmes' Sweet Story. And uh, it was just such a coincidence. I was just like picking up the pattern and I didn't really think about like the tulip bows and then they all matched. Like it was just like amazing. And I thought this was cute. The swans is like um, yelling in this, I uh, forgot what this is called again, but um, yelling into this megaphone or something. <laughs> And uh, I love um, these jewels with all these uh, different fruits and ice creams. And I put some glitter onto these uh, chipboard flowers and some puffy stickers here and here. And um, the size of these are about five inches. And the box is like five 
inches tall and including the handles. It depends on where you're going to put the handles. So um, I put it down here. You could put it up here. So then the handles, it'll go even higher. But for mine, it's like seven inches tall. And the width is like three inches. And let's open it up inside you could also decorate it I haven't decorated it yet but um, inside we also have the last item that I made was uh, these bag toppers uh, it's called versatile bag toppers and it comes um, you can get a big size or you could get a medium size and there's also a, a small size for you to choose from so um yeah so many nice projects so many nice metal dies so this one is the small one it's the woodland grove and it comes with um this tag here so you could put to and from and here's the handle and also from the collection uh, this um, this is not the last item I just realized um, here are, here's the other bee so um, there's so many different styles of bees and here's another bee here and this bee here is I love this bee it's like uh, the wings are like really pretty and also these uh, flat uh, daisy flowers are also part of the Mar new March release and uh, it's so pretty I just prop up the outline here and uh, make it more 3d it's really super pretty more of the poppies and here's another of the tag and also here I use the tag over here it could be like something for the back of this lettering you could put it to the front super pretty loving it I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Toodaloo!